Air Show 2015. This is go. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, you're watching Go on Shaw TV. Big news for the air show is BC Transit. Take the bus, that is the message. There is very limited parking, if any. So take the bus, check out the website. The map is there about where you can get a ride. North Island College, as well as uh, you can catch it down at Driftwood Mall, stops all along the way. Check out the map, that's the easiest way. Now we're gonna have a look at this from here in the Comox Valley, but we'll be right back with more. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go on Shaw TV. We are on a transit bus, but we have a very special guest with us today, Colonel Tom Dunn from here at 19 Wing. What are you looking forward to the most about the air show? I'm looking forward to seeing the smiles on people's faces <laughs> as they leave the air show. And once they've come and they've, they've experienced it and they've made, managed to get in, have a great time and get out without any real hassles uh, while they're there. And that's why the, the bus is a really important part of that. It is. Now, in terms of, oh, there is a helicopter right now. <laughs> Um, in terms of all the different um, aviation, what's your personal favorite? I love the snowbirds. They okay. never <laughs> cease to amaze me. They're just so fantastic uh, to be flying that close together in formation. Mm -hmm. They're a crowd pleaser every time and they put a smile on my face every time. And I understand um, from some of the uh, people that we've talked to um, that are at 19 Wing, that have organized all this is that the snowbirds formation is the tightest formation on the entire planet. That's my understanding. They are world renowned and they are a fabulous crowd pleaser. And also the Tudor is such a capable airplane because it can stay close to the crowd. Right. They're fast, they're an amazing powerful jet, but they also, their re, the re-attack over top of a crowd is so quick when they have, and they break up into smaller bits of their formation that there's always something to look at. It's fabulous. Now, how old were you when you knew you wanted to go into the armed forces? I was in high school when I made the choice, and I actually have a memory of taking my mother to the Peterborough Air Show and having the F-18 demo pilot fly right over top of us, and I thought my mother was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> it, was, it was so much fun to be there, to see the noise and the excitement, and that was probably one of the things that helped me want to join the Air Force at that time. And was there any, like, did you go through for your pilot's license or did you follow another path? Like, what did you do? I did. I did both. Well, I joined, went to the Royal Military College of Canada and for my pilot license, uh, both. I managed, I've flown search and rescue all of my career, uh, okay. the C-130 Hercules mostly, but I'm now flying the Buffalo aircraft, which you see on my name tag. So oh, I get great. to get out of the office uh, once every few weeks and go flying on it. Uh, That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, what are you enjoying most about being at Comox? Comox, the community is yeah. fantastic. The, I mean, the weather, the scenery, it's all beautiful, but the community really has been great, embracing me and my family here. Uh, I've got three children in the local schools, uh, getting to know all of the local mayors and the regional district. Uh, it's been a really fantastic community to be a part of, and I know they've really come out and sponsored the air show last time, and the sponsorship we have in preparation for this one is great, and I know there'll be lots of people coming out to this air show. What would you say to all of the general public about this air show? What's the one thing that is going to make them come? I want them to know that the theme of the air show really is saluting the community that we serve. And it's our, what we want to do is show you our place. It's an open house, but it's not only an open house. It's an open house with a flying demonstration of all of the fabulous capabilities we have. So we want our men and women to be able to interact with the public, show off our base, show off all the fantastic things that we do and the people that we have, and at the same time entertain the public while they're here with a great, fabulous flying display. Awesome. Thank you so much, Colonel. All right, we are going to have a look at this from Campbell River, but we'll be right back. You are watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. Joining me now, Terry Chester. You have a very special offering at the air show for veterans. Please explain. Yes, we do. For the last three air shows, what we've done is really try to make a fuss of our veterans. We, uh, we have a chalet that just for them, sponsored by the Department of Veterans Affairs, helped us with the Legion, and the Royal Canadian Air Force Association is looking after that chalet. So it's an open invite to any veteran that comes to the air show, we have a place for you to sit, we'll serve you a nice light lunch, 
uh, and, a, and a beverage. And it's in the shade? And it's in the shade. Which you can really watch the air show from there. You can right. stay there or you can visit the, the number of stalls. You can come and go. Every veteran that comes will uh, get a special pass to allow them into our chalet. And we're really looking forward to making our veterans feel special uh, and that we really appreciate what they do for our country. Well, Terry, thank you so much. I think that's a wonderful way to welcome the veterans to the air show and to make sure they're cared for all day long. That is fantastic. Just oh, my fantastic. pleasure, indeed. All right, we are going to take a short break, but we'll be right, right back. There's more coming up. Joining me now, Mr. Chris Fudge from BC Transit. You guys have partnered with the air show yet again? We have, yes. All right. What's the most important piece that people need to know? Well, I think there's lots of information that's uh, available. There are lots of options to, to get to and from the show, but I think what we're able to do is provide a, a, a really effective method of getting in easily, getting out easily. It's low stress. Um, it's convenient. We'll be operating uh, frequent sort of transit coming in and out of the show. So it's really the whole package. I think it's the way you want to you wanna come and see the show. What's the cost? Uh, the cost is free. Uh, we are encouraging people to make a donation to help offset some of the cost of transit, but okay. uh, the way it's being promoted is it's a free service. Now, what are the pickup points? Uh, pickup points, so you'll be able to take regular service sort of to Driftwood Mall and sort of connect on to the airshow route from there. Okay. We also have park and ride locations at the Comox Valley Exhibition Grounds okay. uh, and at North Island College, so oh. there are some, lots of opportunities to That's uh, to very get central. The like nobody, very has, central. nobody has an excuse for not getting on the nobody bus. Nobody has an excuse. <laughs> at all. No, it's uh, no excuses whatsoever. We don't want to hear them. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, about every 15 minutes, the pickup is going to come along? Yes, we're certainly okay. aiming for about 15 minute frequency on this service. So, okay. um, you know, you can't expect, uh, sometimes we may be a little off with that, that yeah. schedule, but we're certainly doing our best to, to okay. get that service as frequent as possible. All right. And um, so it's free. And it gets you right here to 19 Wing, and it takes you back to wherever you came from, which is really great. Correct. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been good. And what a great partnership having. You can come to the air show, and you ride here for free. It's pretty cool. It's cool. We're excited. We're very excited to be part of it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, thank you. We are going to have a look at this story, but we'll be right back. Joining me now on the bus, Major Mary Lee here at 19 Wing. Now, this has got to be your favorite event to promote. It is absolutely fine. <laughs> a fantastic event. Well, it's dynamic, but it's multifaceted. There's so many moving parts from just organizing the performers and getting that message out to all the detailed information for our patrons and right. making sure that they have the best air show experience ever, making sure it's memorable, as hassle-free as possible and so that's what our job is in the days and weeks leading into the air show is how can we make the experience for the patrons one that will be a lasting impression. Yes. Now we don't want anybody passing out from heat stroke because they are still predicting a hot dry summer exactly. all the way through to October I think. So water. Can we bring bottles? Absolutely. Okay. We're encouraging everybody to bring your own bottle. I okay. mean if you have some water in the bottle when you come through the gates that's fine. Refill it. We have five hydration stations located awesome. throughout the, the show site. Okay. Uh, detailed map will be in the Comox Valley Echo on the 7th of um, August. Okay, great. We will have our own supplement uh, souvenir brochure, which will give the detail on the map. Okay. But more importantly, the map is downloadable on the website, and on that there you map, go. it will detail the hydration stations. Okay. Bring your own water bottle and fill it up. Now, this year you have a lot more food vendors, but people can also bring their own snacks, right? If yes. They want. I mean, okay. we all have our different dietary needs, and, yes. and, and we want it readily available. Right. So we definitely packed in a nice sealed container. Um, soft coolers or soft backpacks are allowed. Not no, hard coolers. No hard coolers, no hard coolers yeah. barbecue okay. setting up a <laughs> big hot dog stand. No, we want to keep it simple. So okay. we have sandwiches, fresh fruit and snacks, especially, awesome. and even the, the um, baby food, because when you bring your young child, yeah. they have their special eating needs. So yes, uh, you don't have to go to the food vendors, of course. So there's always some favorite choices there, but yeah, pack, pack a small um, container, and, okay. and that's more than welcome to bring in to the air show site. Awesome. So we got, oh, sunscreen. Yes. It's been a hot summer, as you <sighs> said. Uh, the sun is intense yet again after a weekend of rain, and bring sunscreen. We will have some vendors on site, um, one in particular, oh, okay. I believe, a woman with uh, an Avon, 
uh, company, she will be um, selling sunscreen. Okay. But we can't guarantee that it will be enough sunscreen. That's exactly. So for 15,000 people? For 15,000. Because that is which, the expected number. Exactly. We're okay. anticipating it based on the 2013 stats. So, yeah, okay. that's another important thing to bring is pack some sunscreen. All right. Bring a bottle. And bring a bottle. Yeah. Final thoughts? Well, make sure your, your air show experience is that much more enjoyable. We have plenty of information on the website. I continue um, to update the website with new information as it becomes available. Lots of maps are available, how to get there. So plan your day, look at the website, download the maps, download um, the route that you want to take. BC Transit is the number one choice, right? Yes, and they have an awesome campaign that uh, Michael free. probably spoke to you or Chris free. probably spoke it's to free. you. It's free. It is free, and they've got this, you know, take a selfie, post it, because um, it's uh, it's cool to ride the bus, uh, and that's what we want our patrons to do. And it, okay. Or carpool, but plan your route. Uh, take a bike. We have a bike coalition, Comox Valley Cycling Coalition, right. once again is stepping awesome. up, okay. uh, and it'll be locked up, so it's completely secure as well. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Looking My forward to the 15th. So, so excited. <laughs> thank All you, right. Mary Ruth. Um, we are going to take a short break, but we'll be right back. This is going to be fabulous transportation to get the air show 2015 here at 19 Wing. Ride the bus and come here to 19 Wing. It's going to be amazing. You don't have to worry about driving. You can simply ride the bus and have a tour of the Comox Valley all at the same time. Right now, we're going to have a look at this from Powell River. So this is what they want you to do. They want you to ride BC Transit here to 19 Wing for the air show on August 15th. And then you'll get off and you'll be right here where it's all happening. It is going to be an amazing, amazing event. The lineup is spectacular. There are 11 civilian performers plus a whole number of military performers. You've got the Sartex, you've got the F-18, you've got the Snowbirds. It's going to be magnificent. So be sure to check out the website, put August 15th on the calendar, great big red circle around it, and we will see you there.